Hi, my name is Andreas Nenning and I'm going to show you how to mount a motion sensor on a live tank breaker. Here we have the mounting kit which has accessories for a variety of breakers in it and for this particular breaker we're going to need this part here. The first step is remove the screw here. Make sure the washer stays in place. You remove the screw from the breaker and put in the screw from the mounting kit. We're using an M10 uh, screw size here. Tighten that screw. Then you make it flexible again a little bit like that. And now you place the chuck right here on the frame of the breaker. Tighten it. And now you see how the arm flexible and is ready to hold the sensor here. Now we take the sensor together with the flexible coupling. Make sure the flexible coupling uh, is always between the circuit breaker and the sensor. The sensor is quite sensitive for axial forces and uh, this part here is going to protect it. And now you're going to tight everything. Therefore you need the tools. Start with the flexible coupling. The sensor. The arm. The chuck and also that part of the arm. So now everything is solid and fixed. This digital rotary sensor is going to be connected to the channel 1 of the digital interface. Therefore make sure the red dot on the plug is aligned with the, the marking, the red dot marking on the TN3. If they are aligned they are easily sliding in. And connect the TN3 with the Sibano by using an Ethercat cable. When the spring is charged, we are performing a close operation. and afterwards an uh, open operation. Our test software shows us the proper movement and calculates the important parameters like total travel, the damping or the velocity. After disassembling the test equipment, you have to put the original screw back in. Therefore, you have to apply the glue according to the user manual. and apply the force as specified in the user manual. Now the breaker is ready to be operated again. <laughs> 